Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today I want to talk about how to conduct hypothesis testing in Tableau. Performing hypothesis testing in Tableau used to be not straightforward. A few years back, Tableau has incorporated the programming languages such as R and Python. This change has allowed the Tableau developers to directly interface with their R or Python codes. You can run statistical tests and incorporate the testing results into your dashboards. The benefits to run R or Python code for hypothesis testing is that first, all of the testing scripts can be developed inside Tableau without exporting or importing data between Tableau and R or Python manually. Second, you can also visualize the hypothesis testing results immediately in Tableau without writing any R or Python scripts. So in this video, I will walk through the steps to run the basic two-sample student t-test in Tableau using R code to understand whether there is a difference in the conversion rates between group A and group B. To run R code in Tableau, we need to first set up Tableau to interface with R. If you are the first-time R user, you need to download R from the R project website. Go to the rproject.org website and click to download R. Make sure you select the right version of R to download. Once you have R downloaded and installed, open the R console. Type the command install packages rserve. Please note the capitalization of rserve matters here. After you install the rserve package, then load the library rserve. Next, you will need to call the rserve function. After you have started rserve, then go back to Tableau, click Help from the top menu bar, then select Settings and Performance from the drop-down. Then choose Manage External Service Connection. Select rserve and then type the name of your rserve host. If you are running Tableau on your local computer like me, then choose localhost and with port 6311. Once done, you can click to test the connection. If the connection has been established, you will see a pop-up window that says successfully connected to the external service. Now you are all set to run your R scripts in Tableau. Tableau offers a few functions to incorporate the R scripts into the calculated field. There are very detailed descriptions of these functions on the Tableau website. I will put the link of this blog post in the description box below. In this dataset, it captures the monthly conversion rate between 2018 and 2019 for two of the test groups, A and B. To run the two sample t-test, you will need to create a calculated field. I call this field p-value. Inside the calculation, I call the function script real because the p-value from the t-test will be a real number with decimal points. Then I put the R script for the t-test with quotes like this. Instead of assigning specific variables directly from the dataset, here you will need to put parameters such as .arc1 and .arc2 in the R command which will serve as placeholders for the actual variables used in the t-test. Then, you need to specify and assign variables to arg1 and arg2. Here, my arg1 is the conversion rate and my arg2 is the test group. What the R scripts does here is to call the t-test function in R. Specifically, it will compute the p-value for the difference of the sample means between group A and group B. Please note, I applied the ATTR function to the group variable. In Tableau, this will let you pass this field as an aggregation. Also, sometimes your R scripts can have more than two variables. In that case, you can use .arc3, .arc4, etc. to pass more of your variables from Tableau to R. Now you can drag and drop the p-value metric to your worksheet and or workbook to show the results of your t-test. In this dashboard, the p-value for the t-test between group A and group B is less than the critical value of 0.05. This means we're 95% confident that the conversion rates between group A and group B 
are statistically significant with p-value equals to 0 0.0102. Okay, I hope you find this video helpful. Let me know if you have any comments or suggestions. Thanks for watching and see you next time.